The fourth annual Live for Evan 5K took place. The event is in honor of Evan Girardi, who was born with a congenital heart defect. All week long we've been tracking plus 15 or 20 people per day over where we were the first year, which was our record year for attendance. So if the rest of the week went okay, we should have broke our record of attendance. We were shooting for 600-ish, over 600. Uh, we'll see how it came out later today, but yeah, it's fabulous. Evan would face many challenges, including heart surgery, but always kept a smile on his face and pushed forward. Evan passed away due to heart complications in 2010, but Evan's friends and family continue to remember him through the Live for Evan organization, which serves to help families or people affected by heart disease. So my name is Whitney Mullen, um, and Live for Evan was started about four years ago, a little background on the organization, and one of our childhood friends who passed away from congenital heart disease in 2012. Um, so this is our fourth event, and we're raising money to support families of patients affected by cardiac disease. And our latest program is a apartment housing project. So we raise money to open up apartment buildings for families that travel into the Boston area while the child receives um, treatment from Children's Hospital. They get to stay in a place um, that's, you know, comfort of their own home right next to the hospital. So we're fundraising. We opened our first apartment building this year. And the money from this event will go in, towards opening another apartment in Boston. Um, I do the marketing for the event, um, and we, were, we grew up with Evan, so we're really excited to have this be the fourth race for the year. Well, all the, the co-founders of Live for Evan grew up with Evan. Um, he was in my third grade class, that's when I met him for the first time, and we became lifelong friends. And I think the type of person that Evan was is the reason why the, the volunteers and, the, and the, the, the organization itself is able to sustain itself, because everyone has such passion for remembering him in the way that he deserves to be remembered. And um, so it's, it's, you know, it's taking a horrific situation uh, from when he passed from his congenital heart defect and trying to um, create something positive out of it and, and help other people uh, because that's what Evan would have wanted. And so it's, it's a terrific honor for us to, to commemorate him in this manner. And um, so it's, it's been fantastic. My personal role for the organization is the treasurer, kind of the numbers guy for the organization. Um, which works out well because that's what I do uh, in my day job as well. Um, so I'll tally up after, after today's over, I'll tally up all the donations, all the registration numbers, all the sponsorships, and um, you know, we'll see where we're at. And I, as I look out the field right now, I'm, I'm very confident in how we're going to end up. The Live for Evan Memorial 5K always has a lot of community support and sponsors. I just want to add um, a thank you to all of the, we have so many, we have over 100 volunteers each year and the list keeps increasing and we have our, our we have over 600 runners, so it's just an immense amount of support from the community, from our sponsors, from vendors, from everyone that's pitched out and helped over the years and just, we're really thankful for the community to continue to grow and it warms our hearts and we're, we love spreading heart happiness, so we just hope we can continue to do it year to year. So yeah, we want to thank all of our sponsors this year that includes Select, Middlesex, Savings Bank, Landscape Depot, TJ supplied the burgers and dogs, Loyola University where uh, Evan went to school down in Maryland, um, CVS Pharmacy, new to town, was our platinum sponsor. We also want to thank Gil Bain, Unibank, also a new addition, um, Arteriosite Medical Systems, Yogurt Beach for having a great event on Thursday night, um, Corporate Communications for all the signage that you see around the field today. Also, Aereo Marketing, who um, puts together our website and does a fantastic job at that. Scott's Landscaping, at Phipps Insurance, and Liquid Graphics Design. So a huge thank you to all the sponsors. Uh, we really appreciate ha uh, having you guys. And what you guys do is what allows us to open up apartments in the Boston area. And without, without your help, we wouldn't be able to continue to open up more and to continue to grow and uh, do this year over year. So we very much appreciate it. This year's Live for Evan event featured a few new fun family activities. We got two new, two new events this year. We got a cornhole tournament going on over in the end zone by the high school. And we also have a, an obstacle course, which you can probably see in the background here for kids K through 8. And uh, those are going to be events that we have continuously every year. So if you couldn't make it out this year and you want to play cornhole next year, we're going to have it. If you have kids in K through 8th eighth grade and they're going to, they want to go to the obstacle course, bring them on out next year. The Live for Evan organization this year set up housing near the Boston Children's Hospital to help people who need a place to stay 
while a loved one is being treated for a medical condition. Yeah, so the big uh, project for us this year was we, uh, we have leased a Live for Evan uh, patient housing apartment down uh, next to Children's Hospital on the 14th floor of the building next to, to our Children's. We've uh, fully, fully paid for that apartment. All the utilities were paid. TV, electric, heat, uh, fully furnished. And now um, we have that available for pe families in need who can't afford housing in the city when their kids are in, in patient care and children's. And so we've had uh, three families in there since April 1st. Uh, we're currently in with somebody right now. Uh, they've been there three months. They have a child that's going through a lung transplant process, which is quite, quite lengthy. Um, and we, uh, we pick up the cost of that. If they can't donate a nominal fee for that, we pick it up and, and pay for it. So all the funds that we've got from here is mainly being driven to, the, to that apartment. So it's a Live for Evan apartment. Um, it's been a great experience for us. And we're taking, taking the, the money and the efforts we've had and taking it right down into the patients and the families, which is what we want to do.